Hi everyone, welcome to the Moments of Grace. And today we're gonna to be talking about unforgiveness. So let's start out over here with how we define um, unforgiveness. And unforgiveness in the Bible is defined like this. It's sin that causes bitterness in our life. And it's a root of bitterness. And when we talk about a root or somebody uses that word root, you know, if we go to unroot something, you really have to dig, okay, dig a root out. And sometimes, like I said, it's not easy. Sometimes you can root something and it'll come out right away. Other times we have very difficult time with unforgiveness and it takes a while for us to get through the process of forgiving somebody, but it is something that we have to do. So with that being said, um, we're also going to describe the importance of why we have to forgive because this is a very serious topic and it is real in today's society more so than ever. So the Bible says it like this, if we're going to live a Christian life, we have to live a life where we're constantly forgiving people because we all sin and we fall short of God's glory each and every day. And how many times does the Bible tell you to forgive? Seven times seven? No, 70 times seven. He's basically saying you have to forgive as many times as somebody comes up to you to ask for forgiveness. Even though the uh, repeat action, whether it be of offense, or unforgiveness uh, that keeps happening over and over, the disappointment, or what, you have to find a way to forgive because we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven unless we do. So we have to address those issues. So let's move on over to examples of uh, unforgiveness in the Bible. So we could even start here with Cain and Abel. Let me, let me just say this. So that story is found in Genesis 4, 3 through 15. And it's basically a story where Cain and Abel had to offer, uh, make an offering, okay? And Abel's offering was acceptable, but Cain's offering wasn't. But here's the key thing. God made it easy for Cain to change his attitude of unforgiveness. He was very bitter and angry. And this is the reason why we need to be very careful with that root of bitterness, because it can fester and fester and fester and turn. And basically in the story, uh, Cain wound up killing his brother Abel over the offering. When in fact, God said, you can make this offering more acceptable Okay, you can make the offering acceptable, I should say, because right now it's not acceptable. So he did give him an opportunity to change his mind and go make the offering right. Instead, he chose to continue with his anger and rage and bad attitude. And he chose to go kill his brother out of all of that unforgiveness, out of all of that bitterness, that rotten root that we can't root out. So do you really want to go that route? Or do you really just want to go put your offering down and go get the proper offering to offer to God? That is the question, guys. It's always a heart issue. So I hope this blessed you today as much as it blessed me. Make sure and share this message with somebody who really wants to hear this message. And even for those that don't want to hear this message. <laughs> for the next Moments of Grace, you have an amazing day. Amen.